I think it's pretty interesting that we are now the youngest team in top 50 and it comes, in my opinion, with a lot of challenges. We had a little bit of a rough start because, I mean, it's difficult always to change two players and especially when one of them is the IGL. This team can have a lot of potential, but I think it's only up to us again how, how we're going to deal with it. Yeah, so during the player break, we decided to make a change in leadership within the team. So Dexter is no longer on the team, and instead we have Shuhei now. Shuhei is someone that I've worked with for a long time at NXT, so we have a good relationship. Mouse is known to bring in the stars of tomorrow, and I think in the in-game leader position, he's definitely the guy to look out for. Oh, he's back. <laughs> he's back. Look at him. How you doing? Good, and you? Yeah, very good, man. Very good. Yeah, when it comes to CS, I, I would say I'm a very chaotic person in game. Um, aggressive, dynamic. There's uh, obviously a huge step up from the academy team. Back whenever I played with uh, with my NXT teammates, um, they weren't as experienced as they are now. So it's even much better to work with them now. Yeah, I mean it just didn't work out with the Rust roster, and I think Camille mean, brings a lot of like firepower and excitement and. I mean, the energy that we kind of need these young players in the team, I feel like. Um, but yeah, I think Camille is uh, the best IGL I've ever played with. And yeah, I'm just really excited to be with him in the same team again. Then we also decided to promote Jimpad, who has been uh, outstanding in, in the academy team, demolishing everyone in tier two, uh, a really Fast and quick learner, a funny guy. Personality, um, what would I say? Quiet. I think that, uh, that suits me pretty well. It's been like a dream since you joined the NXT roster and now that you're playing in the main team, sometimes you just cannot believe it, you know? Well, I think Jimmy uh, matured a lot since I've uh, seen him last time. I think in person he's still goofy like he always was and uh, I think that's a really good thing. Um, but yeah, I think in the game he learned a lot uh, during his period in NXT. Uh, probably especially after we left because he got to play more roles that give more responsibilities. And I think that Tobis did a really good job at kind of growing him, if that makes sense. And yeah, I mean, I'm just really looking forward to play with him. He's a great kid and I mean, he's probably one of the best talents we have had in the last couple of years, in my opinion. When I was playing in NXT still and Xerteon got like a um, promoter and stuff like that, I took it like in a motivational way, you know, that he was my ex-teammate and he got promoted. So I have also really high, really high chances if I perform well. And yeah, now I'm in the main team and it's really awesome. It's a goddamn, guys. Give me a goddamn. You made a movie? Yeah. Behind the scenes of uh, school kids, basically, just in a school trip to Cologne. Yeah, that's basically it.
You are not allowed, Adam. Bro, do you know the Mexican who lost his car? Bro. It's Carlos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think our dynamic changed a bit with Jimmy and Camille coming in. I think way more energy-wise. I think, I mean, we're a younger group now. And uh, yeah, just super energetic as well. Since I think everybody's so young, I think we can be very versatile in the game. But as well, I think it, since we have such a beast in the team, everyone requires some certain space. So I think we just got to figure it out how it's going to go in the long term. It might bring some challenges, honestly, just being the young team. Um, even though I kind of changed my view on the experience over the years, but I still do think you kind of need to get used to the big tournaments, so there is some experience to gain in some uh, ways. It's a good part, it's down. Shiny. Oh, oh, that's nice. nice. Okay, <laughs> that fits. Did he just open that? <laughs> I think the sky is the limit for this team. It depends on how we do it and when, um, how we connect and how it really works in a competitive environment like Cologne, for example. On paper, obviously, we have a, a huge chance to, to show something. Uh, but obviously, it's all about how we approach things and how we actually play. So, so that's all that matters. I think Cologne is very important because it's in Germany. Maus is a German organization. Yeah, last year Cologne was nice. I mean, we made playoffs first time in the Lanxess Arena. I think one of the unforgettable memories probably I'm gonna have in my career. Yeah, I just want to experience it again. You know, it's, it's the best feeling to play in front of crowd. So yeah, it's my personal goal. Yeah, I got the opportunity to come as a visitor uh, to see the main team play. And obviously it was a huge motivation to see them play because then I thought like, yeah, one day I want to be on that stage as well. It would be really nice. Being a part of it now is definitely something big for me. It's a really good tournament, uh, especially starting off tournament for us. Yeah, we didn't have much time, or I wouldn't say a lot of time to um, to prepare and practice together. But also, I think we did good for what we had. You need to cover all the bases and have a good foundation that you can build upon. So we focused a lot on what is it we're trying to do, what are our goals. We shared common goals, common rules, common language. Yeah, so we took it kind of step by step, and it's still a very young team. We didn't have that many days to prepare. We just came off, or we just come off for a good boot camp in Hamburg. We put in a lot of work trying to build a map pool, trying to build connections outside the server and on the server. Just making sure that we as a team come comfortable into the tournament. And I think we, we did that pretty well. I think here in Cologne, I would be extremely proud if we make another playoffs run. But overall for us, and we talked about this just going as far as we can, learning from every match, having the feeling that the team is still progressing in all the areas that we're focused on, then, then I would be more than happy. And actually, my coach did that in Cambridge. Uh, really? He, he took a time out his RMR. It was the, the most important game like against uh, to qualify to the major, uh -huh. it took, takes a timeout, and then he starts screaming at the opponent. Doesn't even talk to us, and he's like, "Yeah, sorry, guys, I just wanted to scream at them." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think if there is a roster change, the community is always hyped. Like, what do they see in the team? You know, but you cannot rush it. So maybe we need some time. Maybe we don't. You know, but like if it goes bad, you don't have to judge it instantly. So it takes time to be good, like Rome wasn't built in one day. Ah, it's always oh, a good feeling, you know? I'm fine, I take this one off. Ah, I don't, I don't What's your cooking, Dennis? You kill what two, about you take it out, you run down. I do breathing exercises before the game, like a five minutes breathing exercise. And of course, it's not just 
like that one hour or two hour before the game but like the last day or the last week what do you do how do you sleep uh, like you need to focus on a lot of things so yeah it is about everything not just like if you warm up if you do your thing it is more than just that i want to have even more energy than they have and energy is about wanting to win more so pushing energy is about diff calling when you need to diff call it's about spending energy on making a smart call when you need to make a smart call and over rotation when you need to over rotate taking a chance because you read the game right this is about energy the same thing is about attitude i want to be in the fucking face today yeah i said to you yesterday that we got to force them to a really tough match yeah? to do that it's the three steps it's being in the face it's re-aggressing it's creating spark with you toe it's always forcing them to be on their toes so they never have an easy round yeah that's the goal attitude and energy let's yeah. fucking go boys Go. Let's put our all energy today, guys, okay? Mm. We came here as a team, we're gonna fucking do this team, okay? Yeah. One, two, three. No! Oh my god, boys, it's the first official round. Let's go! Damn! Let's go! He flashed out heaven. He's yeah. heaven. Under heaven. Speaking. Has to step up, they put a bomb on it, nice clean headshot, goes back to pressure for Rosen, Exertion's looking for it on 20 HP, no. all the lineups no. are no. up there! Yes. Let's go! Sick, boys. Holy, Holy shit, shit. well played, Adam. <laughs> man, that was fucking close. I want that, man. I didn't know. Nice. At the moment I'm playing more aggressive, which I think it suits me better and I, this is how I enjoy and I like to play. Just going first, taking the duels, um, yeah, but also just like doing little things in my routines. Like I played a lot in the summer break and uh, I just wanted to be ready and show that Maus made the good decision to stay with me. Techno's gonna hold on to the bomb site. Opera's also come up with one. It's such little help. No! And Torzi, go, brother, go. 50 oh. on the line. 9-10 out in the open could still deny this. But Torzi! finished by Torzi. 50 oh! first. Double OT. And 50 kills to his what name. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't enjoy the game, you know, it just in general we had a lot of fun, like we were laughing even though it was a close game. So personally I felt really good after the game, you know, coming back from the off-season to play in such a good way, it was really, like it boofed me in a way, it gave me a lot of confidence and uh, I think it it was needed for me uh, and I am really happy that uh, I can perform like this and hopefully I can uh, keep performing in the next games. Jim, you want to know a funny fact? Tell me. Rob's Steam account is almost older than you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not even... It's a young guy. Yeah, but he has it for 16 years. That's crazy. 16? 16 years. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> I mean, I think Jimmy, like so far, from what I saw playing with him, I think he's a great player. But I think it, it always comes from player to player, how, how they're actually going to do uh, at the tournaments and how they deal with the stuff. Because in practice, you can still play good, but official, you could have a little mind switch, you know? But yeah, just, he holds his own. Most of the time, uh, I think there are still some things he can work on, but I think we are here to here to help him with that. Yeah, I mean, I think that many people expect us to go like really far in the tournament, and I really like it as well because I think it's it it might give like pressure, but also it makes us more confident in a way. Of course, it would be a dream, you know, to win the first tournament that you ever play in. But yeah, I think I look this more in a way that I try to get everything out of the tournament. Let's enjoy the game today and let's be creative. Yeah, it's gonna be a long game, guys. But let's trust and believe and believe in every fucking round. I don't care if we have USPs or five ops or four spies. Believe in every round, and we're gonna make it, okay? And let's have a lot of fun, guys. 
Let's yeah. go, boys. Let's yeah. go. go. Enjoy the fucking game, Sorry. Huh? 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 Enjoy the fucking game. <laughs> One, two, three. Move! I want to become the best. And that's like basically everything what I do. I, if I want to focus on something, then I always want to become the best and put like the, all the effort to the thing I do. I don't want to be, uh, be a loser, you know, and I always want to win. Like it's, it's what I aim for. Can you stick it? I smoke yeah. it. Yeah. Question yeah. for the default. Right. Just stick it. Stick it, stick it. Get him. Right, so he cannot be heaven in that timing. <laughs> the first map in Mouse's palm. Brolin moving through the hut. Head trick up in heaven, waiting with the AWP. And Brolin needs something magical here. They've got good crossfires, but they're not looking his way. Brolin tries to take two, but instead it's won by Mouse. The first map in their back pocket. Their opponent's choice as well. And Inferno waiting for map two. Overall, good signs for Mouse. Torshi looking solid on the orb. Frozen showing what he's got. And even Yimpao on that T side coming in with some crucial entry rounds as well. I felt more comfortable in the NIP game because like, I think I prepared for it much better than I did against Mongols game. Mongols game, I would say that I was like really nervous actually because of the pressure and it was like first time uh, playing in that kind of place and studio, you know. But yeah, I would say like everybody in the second game, we were much more like awake and just more ready, I would say. From everyone individually, good game. And on top of that, as a team, we showed up as well. I'm pushing main David. I think it gives us. Nice! Oh, fucking Jimmy insane! Nice Jimmy! Nice. Oh, damn. <laughs> Sasha moves in. He has got the round. He has got those tickets to the group stage in the palm of his hands. Deals with Hampus. The man at the helm of NIP is now out of the picture, out of the round. And Torshi deals with Config. That's the attack dog of Nip removed. This one is grinded to such an awkward halt, and this might just all come undone right at the close with no way in. Nice! Miles lock in the 2 0 victory. God damn. That was really nervous, actually. Yeah? You heard more. So I think yeah, it's pretty important that you stay focused like inside and outside of the sea, uh, of the game at the same time. So you don't push yourself too much. You don't play too much. You know you you have to. Um, if you feel like you play too much, you need to go out for a walk, like clean your head out, do meditations, read a book, or these kind of things are super important, especially for for us, for uh, professional players. I feel like because. If you just always concentrate on playing and just playing and playing, it can get a lot. Every shot going in, no. Dudley, Dudley, gonna be here, here, here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 360. Dudley. Oh! is like this in-between player and if you see him somewhere in the middle or on A, it's definitely that he's with the group or they're trying to end there. So you just make it simple, over-rotate a little bit in my opinion, make a smart plan around it. I think the main goal is to make it look like our goal on CT is to like fuck him up mid. Yeah. Like the first first weapon round. Yeah. And then like we can just mix it up, I can fake mid, you guys can like push B on timing, you can go tunnel push on timing again. And yeah, they just like keep rolling this shit around. I think the biggest difference between online game and it's just an officials and lands is I think the comfort you have and as well this kind of I would, I would call it non-caring mentality that 
it is very hard to replicate, uh, replicate at home what you're gonna feel at the official. Uh, I think those feelings only gonna occur actually when you are in the moment playing the game on the big stage. So yeah, just like these kind of like just being in the comfort, you know. I think playing on the big stages is definitely a step out of your comfort zone. I want to show everyone in this place today that we want to win more. Yeah? For the next two, three hours, that's your only goal. To make sure every situation, you want to win more. Maybe buy around, maybe fist around, I don't fucking care, you want to win more. Right? That's the goal. Yeah. It's a fucking goal, boys. Yeah? Let's go. Let's use everything. all our energy up today, okay? That's the fucking goal. Yeah. So that's the end of the day. Push, your, push yourself to win. Enjoy the game, alright? Enjoy the game. One, two, three. Mouse! Every player you face, is just locking you out all across the map. You've got nothing left if you're bitten, so he'll get hounded down. It's the captain to close, and with that howl, they'll move up a map in this series. Overpass coming down the pipeline next. That's where Na'Vi have got to seek some redemption here. Oh, and this time the boost is fruitful. <laughs> they do it again, and Torshi reaps the reward. And it seems like Maus have got this in the bag. We are gonna put this out. No! Nice! game, brother. Oh, oh, Jimmy. Nice. Sick. Great game. Great game. Fucking job. I'm down with it. Yeah. Or. Heavy or straight face? What you want? Up to you. Let's look at models, man. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I love how it's like models. Bro, we are models, man. Where's the confidence? Yeah, but. <laughs> hey, Sabrina. <laughs> this, is, this is rude. It's rude. He says I'm depressed. <laughs> I'm just a model. I'm in the job. Yeah. I'm in the moment. I mean, I think it's just about doing the thing you love to do the most in the world. I mean, playing CS for me has always been, it's not like a hobby or something, it's just the thing I love to do the most, it's not even a job, so... I mean, of course I work really hard because it's a job and of course I really focus on winning, but at the end of the day I'm just doing what I really love for a living and that's, I think, the biggest best thing you can have and... Yeah, for me it's just about winning trophies and uh, pushing forward, basically that's the thing I enjoy doing the most. Let's fucking go, boys. Like you mean it, like you mean it, Adam. And one big question for this matchup, who's going to be going through to the Lanxess after this BO3? Can you go coffin? Take coffin, take coffin, one guy. Let's have a good one. Oh. And a multi-kill round in back-to-back. -back. There's the kit. No issues in taking their time. Oh! Okay. His sixth frag total. And now Apex can close it out for Vitality. Should we to clear him? And he holds on. He's going to like that oh! one. I think it's outside, it's basically impossible to really analyze exactly how team plays because there are so many factors that outside people cannot really know. It can be connections in the team, it can be at times trust issues. I think mo like almost every team has some of that. And uh, I think when you manage to not have any, it's when you reach like the perfect uh, system, which is very difficult because especially in the international team, the cultures are so different. One thing is probably that like connections because it can change a lot in the server and how comfortable you are playing your roles. and. I mean, it can go down to anything like, let's say, I don't know, Camille is our IGL, but I give a call in 14-14 and we lose, everyone be like, oh, what a bad call by Camille, for example. And like, they don't know what's really happening on TeamSpeak in the moment. There is so much dead time in TeamSpeak, which never happens to us. And we need to just talk a lot more and we need to let Camille build around and we need to say something that makes sense. Yeah. But for me, it can literally be just random talking, make a fucking joke whatever, right? just kick off it, guys. Let's, let's get in the fucking game, you know? I just want to hear everyone's voices consistently in my ear. That's all I want. For me, the one thing that's important is that we talk to each other. Because this game, I felt like someone's just, yeah, I'm going to make this play, I'm going here, I'm going to take apps now, I'm going to hold this line, I'm going to do this angle. But you need to talk for the round. 
how the fuck do you build the round? Complement each other, right? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. We can't we get this easy. Plus, we think we put in 100 percent. Next map, we put in 150 percent. Okay? Yeah. Let's enjoy this cool trip. Humbled by vitality here across these two maps, it's night and day. Difference between the two flames. He's got another opportunity onto Yim. In fact, you can see just by the, the clear from Yim, he assumed he pushed up. Now the bomb and the round and the game. I think it's hard to, you know, instantly say to yourself that, okay, we're coming into this tournament to win it. I think it's, we also have to look at it realistically and make sure that we get the most out of it. So it's not only winning, but also we need to take the experience that we gain here and move it uh, forward to the next tournament. No one was furious with each other, angry with each other, which was nice to see. Even from your side, David, there's a few scenarios where you try to crack a joke or you lighten the mood. And I can see in this game that even maybe sometimes you got two kills on your side or the one day and you locked them down or something, then we would lose the round somewhere else in the map or it would fall apart instantly. You wouldn't say anything bad, you would instantly have the team back and be like, yeah, it's okay, gotcha, you know. Or uh, do you think I know Peter Sagan? Oh, that was the case. And, and, and no, no one, <laughs> you know, no, no one. Yeah, just I didn't know. Yeah. But nobody was furious or angry with each other and at times people try to push for the solutions in timeouts or in the rounds but it's just super hard whenever you can't get the ball rolling and uh, tomorrow is a chance to really show some character and, and step up together as a team. Yeah, I think we did a good job of not letting the tough situations impact us towards other teammates. As an example, the we were losing heavily, then a scout situation uh, occurs, <laughs> and we don't instantly get mad at each other. Yeah. I was just laughing. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that's a really good takeaway. I think there's a lot of factors going into like the characteristics of an IGL, but uh, leadership is probably a huge one. Um, just taking taking the lead in in tough scenarios and leading your team to to a greater point and making sure that everyone is feeling comfortable in the team. My man. My man. I think the most important thing for Kamel is to actually make a, like a footprint in our system. And I think he's doing great so far. I think I see some similarities uh, like to Kerrigan with him. So. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think he's gonna do good. I think there's, there's always gonna be some sort of pressure for any player and any team, to be honest. Especially now that the community is probably a lot closer in, you know, in Germany. But yeah, the pressure is always gonna be there, no matter what. So it's just how you deal with it. And yeah, there's no, no one else to prove other than yourself. Four. Otherwise, this ancient is Astralis. Great catch from Shui. He's a dead man now. Blame taps away. Bomb to be planted. Frozen cancels in and spammed on through. When I looked at the scoreboard, it was very even. I think even at times we could have been winning that game. Yeah. We had four and threes. We had four and twos. We had info. Keep fucking playing to win all the time. Yeah. That's key. As long as we believe in each other and your teammates, we're going to be good. Let's give it our all, boys. Okay? Now we're Push ourselves right. to the limits. One, two, three. No! The thing you have to consider always, if you have a lot of ambition, is if you can meet those ambitions. And we have a lot of really talented, ambitious people. And, and really to make ends meet and also have those ambitions come to fruition, then we need to deliver and that's always much easier if you have a lot of experience. So 
this is an area where some of our players will have to try and pull a little bit more of their weight, David for example. Um, but he's still also very young in this game, you have to remember. If things don't go our way, how do we handle with the pressure? If we end up losing a match, we have to reset. And these, these are really the moments where we have to show some character. Torji frozen on the retake just to extend play. And it's device and buzz to keep the dream alive of that perfect playoff history Astralis boast. Frozen, will you get past device? He doesn't seem to think so. 31 and buzz secures it. <laughs> There's no stopping one bad tournament, is not the, not the end of everything. Uh, you just have to prove that there's a lot more ahead of us. And like I said, just take the experience that we get here or any other tournament if we lose it or whatever. You just have to take the experience and just work with it and go, go forward.